Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's begin the temple starting in its own part, unlike the last time that I needed to fill other portions of the part, and yeah. <laughs> so that forest temple really didn't feel like it went that that took that long, but well, I guess it isn't that short. But yeah, you'll, you'll see it. This place is so chilly, even the plants froze solid, and you can't get through them unless you break them. So here we go. Oh. The main room of the temple. Look at that bell over there. I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. Well, first off, let's get rid of those white icy choo-choos. Oh, no, no, no. I got too close. And by the way, you'll notice that if you let yourself get frozen for too long, too long, your, your health will actually continue to decline. Watch, watch. See that? Yeah, that's why I try and get myself out of there as quickly as possible. I, I got enough health to demonstrate that, and this place isn't all that difficult either. As a matter of fact, uh, there's no mini-boss to this. Like, no... Well, I, I guess there's technically enemy battle rooms, but they aren't really mini-bosses, technically, I don't think. They're just like, they lock you in the room, and you kill the enemies, and that's it. So here's this thing, it's like, bell, bell. What does that tell you? Well, hit the bell twice. <laughs> it's as simple as that, because that, you know, it's a musical score looking thing though, so it's like, yeah, you hit the, hit that bell twice and you have played the sacred song of two dongs, I, 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 I guess. <laughs> so now we got some uh, block puzzles here, oh boy, oh boy, are you excited? Probably not, actually none of these are all that hard except maybe the last one in this one because of the execution, but we'll see when we get there. Let's just kind of zip through these nice and quickly there. Voila. And now, behold, the octave. It's like some sort of octorock, but yet not octorock spitter of sorts. And man, how the poop are we ever going to cross that gap? I mean, there's, we don't have anything to throw over there. Unless, unless... I was a little bit late on my timing there. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Victory on the puzzle is mine! And if you want to kill them, uh, you either gotta stun them, and then get up close, hit them with your sword, or... Uh, uh, well, that that's not what I was going for. Can I reach him from... I was gonna say, can I reach him from land? But I don't think I... No. <laughs> okay, I'll do it to the other one just to show you here, because these guys, they're just... They just normally just keep respawning. Yeah, you'll see in just a minute here. So there's no there's no real incentive to to killing him off or anything like that. Eh, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, see there's and even their drops go directly into the water. So yeah, no real reason to kill them other than just for practice, I guess. <laughs> uh, probably some hearts. Yeah, uh, I believe this one just just got pushed directly into the water. Block, apply directly to the water. Block, apply directly to the water. Block, apply directly to the water. And there we go. <laughs> Woo! So as you can see, I'm pushing myself around with the power of my whirlwind here by aiming myself opposite of where I want to go. Use the power of wind. And yeah, there you go. Um, well, I could probably just like drop it in the water somehow. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, that is a mini Freezard, and what it'll do is, you, it's pretty, pretty nigh invulnerable. <laughs> At least with our uh, current equipment, other than knocking it in the water, and that's what I was trying to do back there, but alas, alas, it got a bad bounce off my shield. We're okay. We are okay. Hey you, hey you, yes. I would like your spiky ball to go... Pardon? <laughs> It was, it was highlighting it! Whoops, I didn't mean to fall off. Well, we're okay. <laughs> uh, what are the... I'm never making through the, making it through this room, am I? No, it, it sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> so I, I want to first go over to this little alcove. See, at the, at the bottom of the map of this room here. Uh, there we go. Actually, it should be fine like so, because I can jump right back onto said box. 20 rupees. Boop -boo -doo. And we're off once again. Uh, I don't want to get too close 
up here, because I believe, yeah, because if you get too close, then they'll automatically go into the water, and then, and if you're too far, they won't spit their spike ball, and then you kind of, kind of lose the ability to get something, because you need to kill, well, if you get far enough away, it'll pop back up, but I mean, I just want to do it all in one nice fell swoop of smoothness, if at all possible, but yeah, you want to kill all of them in the room here, because, voila! <laughs> and, oh, no, no! Uh oh, I just ruined it, didn't I? Kinda. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. No, no, no. Don't bounce off the wall. Don't bounce off the wall. You, you're not caffeinated. There's no need to bounce off the wall. Uh, one more little. There we go. Aha! <laughs> and Dragon Scale! Yay! Who knows what, where that thing came from for real Z? That's just. It's a big old mystery. Oh, pots. Maybe I'll just throw something across the gap like I did before. Oh, wait, what? What the? It's timed. Well, how well, How could one possibly defeat this puzzle? That's impossible. Uh, let's just go in here and see if maybe we can do something about that. Get this out really quick. Ice keys, they will freeze you if you, well, if you touch them. But I'm going to stay far, far away from them if at all possible. Take the... What the poop? Uh, oh, I, I landed it right on top of the torch? Are you kidding me? I never even knew that that was possible. <laughs> I reignited the the keys while I was dizzy by landing it on the torch when my whirlwind wore out and... <laughs> uh, what the poop? What? I, I've played the game a bunch of times and that never ever once happened. <laughs> It's ridiculous! Okay, so I guess that was, uh, based on the music, maybe technically a boss? Maybe? I Like a mini-boss? Anyway, I got the boomerang! And you just draw a path on the screen, and it'll go where you want it to go. So open that menu, select that boomerang, hit that L button, and lock on. If you just draw a line, and if you hit them fast enough, with the boomerang, you'll be able to get that thing pooped out of nowhere. Well, I guess not technically out of nowhere. It's all folded up underneath the platform, but still, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm, a couple of ice keys hanging out there. Yeah, I got ourselves another little bell thing. I'm gonna use this this spot over here because it looks like you know it could be like a musical score area of sorts, just just to make marks because we were kind of you know already through there anyway. So I'm gonna put a mark here, put a mark up there, put a mark all over there, and a mark down there. How's that sound? Good? Good. So we got a bell, and we don't know how to use it. That door is locked. Well, I guess I do know how to use it, but first... I'm gonna try and kill these duders off here too. Uh, oh, got one. Well, I do- I have to kill the other one to get something though. I need to kill off all the critters in the area. I'm just gonna scribble around there and hope that it runs into my boomerang. You can also use your boomerang to grab things, like that heart over there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that heart didn't go down into the pits of doom, because, you know, down is death, but maybe hearts are immune to that because they are life itself. I, are you... I, I've scribbled like six times here and I've missed every time, except... <laughs> I never, never, didn't think I was getting through that today. <laughs> oh, pearl necklace, another treasure. But first, got another bell to push over to the main chamber. Just follow it along to maximize our speed. Uh, how do I want to push this though? I need, obviously need to get it over against this block. Well, I should say this lip on the floor. It's not really much of a block because you can walk right over it, but yeah, it's just a little lip to stop the block, is what I mean. Okay, there we go. No, no, Link, come on, Link, stay under control. Yeah, this is ice physics, obviously, you can see by the, the slippery dipperiness, but luckily there's not all that much combat during ice time. So yeah, you can see there's four marks on there here, but if we were to say, hit them thusly, it doesn't quite work. Well, why is that? Well, that's because you need to hit them fast enough. <laughs> Remember, it's a musical score, and if you're floundering around 
over there, it's not really gonna be all that helpful. <laughs> now, for the sake of just cleaning this off for the future, I'm gonna these lines here and redo them because there's gonna be one more score. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, get that nice and set up over there. <laughs> Take the store and go under or over whatever that segment was over there. And oh, there's a couple torches. Let's let's go ahead and light them all like so. And it's like oh, that's so cool. It melts the snow and everything like that. It is oh, it didn't work. But you'll see. There are some uh, dice embedded in the ground. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like to me. One dot, two dot, three dot, four. And that is the solution to the puzzle and more. Okay, not just more. It, it was just a solution to the puzzle. So what you can do here also is melt stuff around. And you can also unmelt the uh, grass, you know, from its solid state with the power of your fiery boomerang. Very cool little addition to the, uh, the boomerang's library of tricks that they have taught thus far. But this is not really a new boomerang feature or anything like that, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> It's just going through the tutorials of the boomerang via puzzles, basically. I don't really have to do anything of the sorts, I don't think, past melting those bits of snow to figure out the puzzle. In fact, you don't have to at all. You could, I guess, trial and error that. But that would be a lot of combinations with four things. I think 16 combinations? Uh, oh, 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 oh. I think you know what I need to do to get this duder to talk to you. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Woo! Oh, nice nap! You look like you want to know where to find a treasure chest. 20 rupees? Uh, I'll say no. Because I think I know all the locations, but I'll... Well, maybe I should do that just in case. You know what? You know what? Just in case, but I'm pretty sure I know the locations. Oops, I played the orange on first, but that's okay. It'll count. As a matter of fact, we'll probably accidentally play the Song of Awakening while trying to play other songs just along the way. Uh, so yeah, I, it, it kind of pays for itself when I get the uh, marks here. I, yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't have to do anything fancy there. Just scribble a line there. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> okay, so... How do I cross that? Well, remember the ice keys have, uh, blue fire? Guess we have to do it that! This is so cool! <laughs> that is a new ability to the boomerang, an actually new ability, not, not something that... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've seen in other games. That is so neat that you would be in just in awe watching that, I'm telling you. But then you get to this point, it's like, oh no, a frozen fan! We can't do anything about that, so we have to go back with the key that we've got from that chest. And open this door. <laughs> Voila! We're making pretty good progress here, pretty quickly. And now that we're gonna see something funny here. Is it the Freezards? There's Octorox in them. That's that's the true form of the mini Freezards. <laughs> we have finally learned after all these years what is actually inside those. <laughs> and that is how you would defeat them without knocking them in the water, because they're not technically a Freezard. Well, I guess they are at one point, but then you melt them, they turn into an Octorox, so they're technically a different enemy then. It's like burning a Gibdo, and then it turns into a Redead. <laughs> So now that we have the ability of the fire torch, not the freezy torch. Oh, what? 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 There we go. I don't know what happened there. I didn't. I didn't think I canceled that. But I guess I did. I don't think I have to do anything fancy there. Other, other than yeah, I just need to go and blow. Voila. And also voila. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Now, I want to kill off all the enemies in this room, which could take a while, depending on how smoothly things go. But, uh, well, I think I can just do it all with the boomerang. 
and stunning them by getting close and s swinging my sword at them and whatnot. Yeah, that'll probably work just fine. <laughs> and going, 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 going. And I'm just gonna keep scribbling along here my path. By the way, I, you'll notice that I'm going quickly when I'm on these, oops, while I'm on these icy things because, uh, I should be lighting these too as it makes things more convenient because they automatically disappear on their own. They, yeah, they crack open and whatnot. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Just, just, just keep moving. You should be just fine. That is, oh, okay. <laughs> as I say, I, I thought it was, that was gonna appear on the other side, but I, I mean, I thought that there's more enemies over here. <laughs> oh, shoot! Well, actually, I, I, I meant to do that, because it'll automatically put me closer to the side than I need to be. Yeah, that was speedrunning tactics. See, over here, there's a stamp station. I should have probably got this first. So, yeah, we're gonna get a stamp of an actual temple. Yeah, that's what she looks like, baby. And we are off, baby. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna scribble that down around over there. By the way, you'll notice that they do not automatically refresh any of the ones that we already drew. If we if we draw something uh, uh, icy over the ones that we already drew, so you've got to keep moving along to fresher area. Dang it, moving over to uh, fresher areas as you go. Oh no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big green rupee, woo! So now that we got those cleared out on the floor completely, we no longer need to chat with the gossip stone, and we can unmark those marks. And look at this big bell. That's a base bell, based on its humongous size. I guess I could put it in position first if I really wanted to. Because it, it does not reset position. Oh shoot, you turned into a fire keys just to mess with me before I can get to you. And, man, <laughs> well, the objective of this room is to, like before, with those dice that were embedded in the ground, we need to get ourselves... Oh, dang it. I keep accidentally releasing that early, so, so I am actually canceling this. <laughs> I like how the boomerang automatically kills keys that it runs into. That's uh, a nice, quick, and dirty way to take care of them. Well, maybe not dirty, but, I mean, if the game gives you the option, it's not dirty. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else hidden over here. I'm just gonna kinda burn what I can, I suppose, for kicks. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we got that, 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 and that was the five formation. You remember to use your boomerang when we get this done. But this is gonna be a rather tricky endeavor to pull this off um, when we actually get to the spot. And this is the one that I was talking about that I said could take me a while to do in terms of the icy block puzzles because we actually gotta push a block across a floor that we've gotta freeze while it's still frozen. So it's there's a lot of... A lot of timing and speed involved here. By the way, if you push, if you push this into the water, it'll automatically poop back over to its yeah to its other location. So don't worry about that bell too much. You just want to get yourself in some sort of position that you know is a little bit more fruitful <laughs> with the block. I guess you could say more than anything. Right, so I, I should have actually pushed that left to begin with to get ourselves on the right track because otherwise I'll just end up in a infinite loop because it goes from corner over here to corner over here. So yeah, no big deal though if you push it in the water, even for demonstration purposes, it just might take you a little bit longer. Alright, so now we gotta make ourselves a bridge for that to get across. Hopefully I filled it all up. Otherwise, it'll be pooped back over to that other corner. There we go. And open says me. Red rupee, baby. And now, I believe... Oh, I have to actually get myself physically over there. I thought I could, like, light a torch in that corner or something like that there. But no, no. I've actually got to walk my way over there. Not that it's super difficult to do so, as, we were, as this room is nothing like the Octo Room of Doom. But... Whoa, da, 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 da. I spoke too soon. <laughs> now nah, we're okay. We are okay. Uh, now this one. This is the really, really tricky one. We've got to get that 
Oh, first we actually should light this torch and ooh, there we go. Get that set up for easier access. Now I gotta think our way through here as we do our doodles. <laughs> Did I get them all filled in? Yeah, I got them all filled in. No, no, don't push it that way. Don't push it that way. Push it that way. There we go. Down we go. And now we want to go around this way. There we go. And up and around. Alternately, you could also push it up to this corner over here, up here, there, and then down there. But that. That's so much more inconvenient because you got to keep freezing the floor. <laughs> All right, so as for the doodle that we did, I think you know what's coming. Bass, middle, and high notes basically by their size. So bass, middle, middle, high, middle. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Woo! And the main puzzle of the dungeon is completed. Uh, okay, but don't forget about this. There's another torch to light over here, which means a treasure chest to be found. <laughs> Open says me. Woo! I think I got all the ones on this floor now, too. I'm just gonna kind of distract you. Oops. Distract you by knocking you around there. I'm gonna take damage from that, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> They're just, they bounce around so crazy like and it's difficult to aim them. I just want to see if there's any more chests here. I don't think there are though. Uh, uh, yep, I was correct. Oh, I didn't take damage. Okay, I want to just knock it down into into the water down there just to see if I get something for it. I don't think I will because I got all the treasure chests, but I might... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I, didn't, I might be able to get it in that room though. Uh, by the way, they eventually slow down, then they go back to their homing mode, you know, where they keep walking towards you and whatnot. Uh, but I'm just having great difficulties with this dude right here. Okay, I'm just gonna steepen its angle. Maybe I can get it to catch the inside corner. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it cannot escape this room at all, but I'm pretty sure it can. Uh-oh, we got, we got it locked in! <laughs> Oh, I just I just keep attacking it until it dies. That works too. I forgot about that. Well, well, I I, I did that on purpose. Yes, yes. I mean, it, it was not me forgetting at all. It was me doing it on purpose. And we got ourselves a torch puzzle here. Don't even bother trying it. It's really, really obscure. So let's just go around here and uh, stun it. Yeah, this is another way to defeat your ice choo choo brethren. Yeah, baby. Well, maybe not brethren, they're totally different species. <laughs> so now we got ourselves... Well, actually, I can... Uh, that, yeah, we have to do this first. So yeah, memorize this or mark it down on there. I don't really think I'll have to, but I'll let, actually, you know what? I'll just mark the blue ones. Mark the blue ones, and then the red fire will be a separate endeavor. So basically, if you try and light them with just like separate separate plumes of fire like you just do one at a time there they're gonna burn out before you finish so you got to do this all in one fell swoop so don't cross your lines and accidentally ignite the wrong torch with something else <laughs> all right now that that's taken care of we can go ahead and flop over here. Oh no, oh no, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, we can just scribble around here with our boomerang. <laughs> Get ourselves set up here. Yeah, like a pro. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, uh, that works too. <laughs> Perfect. I wonder, I, like, I'm not, I never tried this before, but I wonder if you can. This is just something I thought of. I wonder if you can actually burn this the snow and they won't pop out of the ground. I think there's too much snow for that to actually work. And I think the snow is actually on a different level too. Okay, yeah, it's way, way too far away. Or, wait, actually, or is it? Okay, yeah, it just hits into the stairs. Let's try and get some hot fire all the way over in there. Will that work? Will that work? Nah, it won't work. It's too high up, just as I thought. Okay. So yeah, that room is pretty empty otherwise. Just a bunch of snow that you can't really do anything about. And now, hit the switch, make a bridge up here, and I think, you know, 
What's coming next? Because if you remember this little puzzle from the forest temple. Remember? Remember? <laughs> yep. That is how you get the key. And this key is not guarded by any sort of ire like there was last time. So no trouble. You know, those hand things, the key masters. Yeah. And wow, we... He went through that dungeon fast! <laughs> I, we're gonna, yeah, we're at the boss now, I might as well take care of that too! <laughs> Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. Uh, there's a couple hearts, if you want to get some hearts. Yeah, you gotta use your boomerang to jiggle around there and yeah, just let's just see what's in there for kicks. There's probably nothing super important other than hearts. Heart, 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 heart. Yeah, we're at full health, so it's not like we can recover using those during the boss battle. <clears throat> anyway, so here we go. Oh boy, this uh, boss may look sort of familiar. It's Twin Rova! Actually, no, it's Fraz, the master of icy fire. <laughs> but I thought it was Twin Rova at first. First time I played this game. <laughs> so, make sure that you got your boomerang out. That's the only thing you'll need for this battle, I do believe. And, well, I'll, I'll show you what he does, how, or how he attacks. And, oh, I didn't mean to... Well, too late now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire looks like that. It makes fire on the ground. And, uh, yeah. You know, so the, the torches, they kind of do stuff. I feel like there's, there's, there's one of one color, there's one of the other color. And we may or may not have to, you know, like match the opposite colors. Just, you know, like Twin Robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those attacks really do look a lot like Twin Robot. But, but for real, he's here. Yeah, let's let's just get on with the show here. That's how you you just stun them using the opposite elements, and yeah, that is how things are done. When he gets bigger, you'll have to attack him with more of the opposite elements to stun him. And now look on the up, upper screen there. We got ourselves uh, the colors shown to us, but you can't normally tell that unless you look at the upper screen, because as usual in the Zelda games on the DS, the upper screen is quite the important asset, like, like whether there's a map on, being there on screen to help you out for doodles and stuff like that, and this boss is really smart for finally taking care of that, but at the same time he's weak to his own elements, so... <laughs> we just let him, we just kinda let him shoot his fire around here, and if he turns icy, we should be able to get some hits in there. Yeah, how do you like those apples? Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, multiple hits, multiple hits! Yep, that's the point! that he gets into, because you got to stun him multiple times per cycle. Yeah! How you like those apples, Fraz? They were sour, just like you. Yeah, um, well, I guess you could turn those into caramel apples. People like those, but only because of the sweet outer layer. <laughs> and perhaps the nuts. Perhaps the nuts. Okay, now I got another cycle going on here. Of uh, the little ones, little Fraz, spewing their doom at you. Well, eventually. <laughs> they'll, they'll do it eventually, I swear. Okay, just watch all these shuffle around there. And there we go. Do that. And do that. Victory! Sort of. It's back into its regular form. And prepare to wait some more. I would say this is the game's first real boss, in all honesty, because it takes a while to defeat him, and he is sort of tricky, actually. So yeah, it's it's much easier than any of the bosses that we've seen thus far in the Foresty Temple. <laughs> I must say, oh man, oh man, I thought I could have did you in, but I couldn't. I couldn't, and he also takes a lot of hits compared to the uh, other bosses as well, so... It's an endurance match. Oh, you didn't change colors this time, you sneaky snake. You sneaky snake. Technically, if he if he only stayed one color the whole time, um, you would have a lot of issues. Because that would not oh shoot, I didn't Okay, I did get it icy. Okay, good, good. Oh shoot, that's not that's not good. Oh ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I let him get let, let him get a little bit too big there. No 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 oh. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Hit him multiple times! There we go. <laughs> 
I, I, yeah, let me see it. Oh, where's my pointer? Pointer? What was wrong with my pointer there? I, I was touching, but it wasn't registering. What the poop? Wacom? Wacom, I swear to RCS, your drivers... If, if, if this has to do with your drivers again, you are gonna hear a word from my email department. <laughs> It'll be scathing. <laughs> Ah, uh, I, I don't know what happened there. Maybe I had a, a too steep an angle in my... Oops, and I didn't press press down the uh, the tip because the pressure-sensitive tip is... Yeah, it, it, it registers little giblets of, uh, like, how far it goes in at, like, micron levels. But if you don't actually press in the tip, it doesn't register. So maybe I had a too shallow of an angle and I was touching it with the side of the stylus instead, by mistake. I don't know. I don't know. I won, though. That's all that matters, I guess. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was half hour for the whole dungeon. <laughs> it's crazy. I was just zooming through that place. But let's get ourselves another chain attached to the tower and the rejuvenation to the tower as well because as you know when you beat one of the dungeons well main dungeons another piece pops down and clicks itself into place so of course the next parts we'll be heading over well maybe not i mean i can get a whole bunch of rabbits <laughs> now that i because this this uh, doing, beating this dungeon will uh, clear out the blizzard in front of the snow temple. So, and now there's a whole bunch of rabbits that I can get over there. So maybe I'll go grab those first. I don't know. I'll think about it. I already made two parts. So yeah, I think I'll give myself a little voice break. You did it! You could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both. Sorry, I couldn't you know, be more help and you're risking your life out there. But the snow real map started glowing! Woo! Now there's a track over here conveniently leading over to the Tower of Spirits. So you don't have to actually go through that away. You know, back over to the grass, the plains, and yeah. You just go right over there. Tracks to the tower the Tower of Spirits have been restored. And the teleportation device has been restored as well. But more importantly, we get a heart container! Woo! Actually, if you think about it, it's it is probably more important that 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 that, that well maybe not. I was gonna say that that other teleportation device appeared here because then we wouldn't be able to get out. But no, no, this actually this opens up. We could use the other teleportation device. Yes, yes. So it's not that important for that other one too. Yeah. So you're not trapped for all of eternity if not for that teleportation. So yeah, obviously, you know, pots around the boss area always contain hearts, just in case. <laughs> and here we are, back in the train lobby. Well, train station of sorts. Great job, Link! Let's get back to the Tower of Spirits and tell Anjin the good news! Will do! But for now, let's end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we do so. Or get some rabbits or something like that. I don't know, I'll plan it out. <laughs>